Congratulations! You've been working your whole life, now it's time to retire. Are you looking to retire in Massachusetts? You've got to come here. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Swirk and I'm a local real estate expert right here in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, if this is the first time you've come to our YouTube channel and you're looking to find out there, everything there is to working, eating, sleeping, playing, and the top five places to retire in Massachusetts, then you definitely want to subscribe to our channel, click on that little bell so every time we make a new video, you'll be notified. So we have a lot of people that reach out to us asking all kinds of questions. We're very, very excited to answer those questions. And today we actually had our special request to talk about the five uh, best places to retire in Massachusetts. So you have questions, we have answers. All you have to do is email, send us a text, give us a phone call. Any way you reach out to us, we'll make sure we get back to you. And remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've got your back. Today we're going to talk about the top five retirement areas here in Massachusetts. Now this is going to be very biased and it's interesting because as we think about the state and thinking about best places to retire, it can really go all over the place. Uh, there are some people that have some thoughts about being in some of the cities. Um, when I think about retirement, I'm thinking about a place that's de definitely casual, cool, calm, collected, uh, just to sit back and, and enjoy the surroundings. So today we're gonna be talking about a lot of communities are actually down towards either on Cape Cod or right near Cape Cod because growing up on the South Shore of Massachusetts, or the South Shore of, um, yeah, the South Shore of Massachusetts, uh, that was an area that we frequently did all the time. So today we're going to start off with an um, uh, area that's on the Cape called West Yarmouth. Uh, a lot of these are going to have the same feel to them because being uh, on Cape Cod, there's beaches surrounding all over the place. Uh, however, we want to highlight a couple different features of these towns. West Yarmouth has a, a decent population. There's a little over 5,200 people that live there. And some of the highlights of that area, um, you have Seagull Beach, you have Parker's Beach. There's actually a really interesting uh, place called the um, Wida Pirate Museum. And this was a, a pirate ship that actually was founded in Wellfleet, which is another part of the Cape. And uh, it was founded in actually 1984. So they brought this over to West Yarmouth and created this little museum that has some of the treasures that they found, um, some of the pirate lore. So that, that's a really fun thing to uh, definitely go bring the family to and check that out. Um, there's another really nice area that has uh, lots of walking trails, um, Little Sandy Pond and Horse Pond, uh, great areas to you know, take a nice walk, take a nice stroll, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Uh, that's why, you know, when we talk about all these places here on the Cape, you, you just can't go wrong as far as the surroundings. Um, another thing that's over in Yarmouth is they have the um, this huge antique um, center and there's over a hundred different vendors there so that's always a great place to find a lot of those treasures not from the pirate ship however uh, you'll find some great treasures there and with so many different vendors coming and going uh, it's always going to be something different so uh, West Yarmouth uh, definitely starts our tour off today now, the next place we're going to go is over to uh, North Falmouth. Uh, North Falmouth has a population a little bit over 2,500 people. Um, Falmouth is, in, is home to what's referred to as Woods Hole. Woods Hole in Falmouth, um, that is you know, where you're going to find the ferry going over to Martha's Vineyard. There's a, it's a very, very popular place as far as marine biology. And um, it's, it's a great, great place. So something, you know, th this is interesting. And, and again, the, uh, you know, the new 70s is... Or, or 60s is the new 70s, you know, you follow that mantra. Um, there's actually a really cool windsurfing place that's there. So uh, you're never too, uh, too young or old to, to carry on a new sport. Um, there is Old Silver Beach over there. There is Liberty, which is this huge schooner um, that you can actually uh, t go out for, you know, take a, 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 a um, sunset cruise. Uh, it, it's really beautiful. And, and if you've seen other uh, videos that we've done, we talk about Boston specifically and seeing that from the ocean completely different experience so you know be, being from Massachusetts growing up on the water uh, you're always going to hear me favor that so Liberty Schooner is a great place uh, you also have the Shining Sea bike, pa bike trail excuse me bike path 
uh, great place again going through some of these beaches uh, through some sand dunes very very peaceful place you know take a nice walk take a nice bike ride um, you know that's definitely a lot of fun there's a couple different places. There is the Knobska Point uh, Lighthouse that you can see. Lots of lighthouses in the area. Um, there's also Cornelia um, Carey Sanctuary. Um, another great place just to go on some trails, enjoy the nature around you. Very, very peaceful. Uh, and then there's also the um, Highfield Hall and Gardens. Now this was this is actually a five-star mansion that's on over 400 acres uh, of conservation land land, walking trails, um, beautiful, beautiful gardens, uh, and they, they do a lot there as far as uh, running culinary classes, um, there's a lot of different art exhibits, uh, music performances, so th there's definitely a lot going on, so uh, North Falmouth is definitely a place to check out. Now, uh, number three, we're going to talk about Brewster. Uh, Brewster's actually has a, a higher population, uh, just under 10,000. Um, Brewster has the uh, Cape Cod Natural History Museum. Um, again, walking through sand dunes and just really appreciating some of the natural history and, and the, the nature that's in Brewster. Uh, there's also Nickerson State Park. Uh, offers a lot to do there. Uh, you can go kayaking on a lake. Uh, there's lots of trails you can go on. Um, there's a pond that's there. You can get to the ocean there. So there's, there's so many different options. So it's definitely a place that you could spend the whole day just exploring and having lots of fun. Um, you also have uh, Breakwater Beach. You have Crosby's Landings Beach. Uh, Payne's Creek, actually Payne's Creek is a really, really nice place, again, as far as picturesque and uh, just the serenity. It's a beautiful, beautiful inlet, and it's actually, uh, if, you get a, if you happen to get a postcard or you want to send a postcard out from about Cape Cod, uh, you might be sending out something that uh, comes from Payne's Creek. Now, also in Brewster, um, we brought up the name Crosby, and there's actually this really cool mansion that was uh, built back in 1888. And it was a, a local hero uh, by the name of Albert Crosby, um, had, had migrated from the area from Chicago. And uh, this, his, actually, his home actually used to be one of the grandest um, uh, houses in Brewster. So uh, that's a great place to see. They have this really nice function hall. Um, it's funny because if you think about a function hall of 2020 versus a function hall of 1800, it's very different. Um, however, that's a really nice place to just kind of turn the clock back and see how people used to live uh, in Brewster. Uh, also, there's a really cool place called the Stony Brook Grist Mill and Museum. Uh, lots of history there as well, and uh, lots of great trails that you can walk. And just there's a, you know, the, the Stony Brook. So there's a, a a great brook that runs through the whole property, and it's a, it's it's just very very calm and peaceful. So um, definitely, you know, as as things have winded down and you're you're retired, it's a great place to just enjoy nature and, and the outdoors. Uh, another area that we really like is West Dennis. Um, West Dennis, another small population. Remember that the Cape is made up of all these little towns. So as far as Cape Cod's concerned, uh, West Dennis only has about 2,000 people there. Again, lots of great beaches. Uh, you have the West Dennis Beach. You have the South Village Beach. They have a really, really nice public library. Um, and one of the local favorites is um, you can actually take the Starfish um, Bass River Cruise. And the Bass River runs through, um, through Brewster. I'm sorry, through uh, uh, West Dennis. So that's a, you know, you can definitely jump on that, go over for a couple hours, enjoy that whole area. Um, there's a lot of things to do as far as kayaking, um, but it's a, it's another quaint. You know, most of these towns are very quaint and very peaceful. So that's the, that's the common thread that holds them all together. The last place, um, I'm actually really excited to talk about this one because, um, and the name of the place is called the Pine Hills, and that's actually in Plymouth. So it's not on the Cape, but it's one of the towns that's on the very edge before you go over the Sagamore Bridge or the Bourne Bridge, which are the two bridges that connect really Massachusetts to, um, or the Cape to Massachusetts. So the Pine Hills, uh, the reason I like talking about this is I remember years and years and years ago when they started talking about this new development that they were going to be building called the Pine Hills. 
Um, today, the Pine Hills has just under 14, um, 1,400 uh, properties there. Uh, it's a great, great, great community. And, you know, like I said, when they first started building these, um, these homes, it was all centered around golf courses. So they have three golf courses that are there. Um, they have lots of shopping. There's lots of restaurants. There's a beer garden. Um, there is the Stonebridge Club, which is um, fit fitness centers. They have all types of classes. Um, they have all types of clubs you can you can join. They have two different pools that are there. Um, lots and lots of trails to go hiking, biking. They have a racquetball course. Uh, they also have the Great Island Pond. Um, and then if you really want to pamper yourself, there's a great place called the... Um, the Mirabeau um, Inn and Spa. So you can definitely go in for the day spa, get a nice massage, uh, maybe get a hot stone massage, and uh, feel nice and nice and relaxed. Uh, so the Pine the Pine Hills, uh, definitely a great community, especially if, especially if you like golf. And, you know, it's one of those places that most people, once they get there, they're going to hang out there because there's so much to do on that property itself. It's very, very impressive. I'm very biased as far as the Cape is concerned and potentially retiring down to the Cape. Uh, all of those towns out there have a di very different flavor to them, but they're all very quaint uh, and great places for you to retire. Like I said, there's lots of great places that you can retire in Massachusetts. Depends what you're looking for. When I think about having a calm, easygoing lifestyle, I definitely think about the Cape. Now, um, oh. Yeah, see, I completely just forgot the whole thing. Uh, no, no, I know. I, I, I got it. I got it back. I got it back. So uh, we'll pull it way back to the, no, yeah, we'll back to the beginning. All right. Like I said, there's lots of great places to retire here in Massachusetts. I'm a little biased towards the Cape because I like that peace, calm, and the ocean. Um, however, if you're looking to find out what's a great place to visit, what's a great place to live, or you just want to know more information as far as the area is concerned, all you have to do is reach out with your questions. You can call us, you can text us, you can email us. Whatever works, we'll make sure we get back to you. And remember, we always have your back when it comes to Massachusetts. Great work. All right.